so myself, Big Cat, co-worker, we got in a debate. If you could eat one food the rest of your life, what would you eat? He said burritos. I said pizza. And we did it for about a month straight. And I was eating it so much, people just started, hey, is it any good? It's like, I'll take one bite and then give you a quick reaction. We're coming up on year two of the One Bite Pizza Festival. And ahead of year one, there was an attempt by the Washington Post to kind of do like a hit piece about you. I don't even really specifically remember what it was about, but it was negative and it was kind of detracting from the message and spirit of the event. Coming up on year two, I remember watching the you know release that you put out there, kind of taping that phone call you had with the reporter. Why was that an important thing to do? Like, What's something you've done in the past when people come out and try to take you down and do stuff like that? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've dealt with it. For a bit now, it's in, in what you're referring to, the Washington Post was calling sponsors and advertisers who we have unbelievable sponsors and advertisers for this event and basically being like, why would you ever do the Pizza Fest? Uh, and it turned out she didn't know anything about the Pizza Fest or me in general. Um, and she basically admitted that on a phone call. Uh, and it went super viral because she basically was caught kind of, I don't want to say, you know, lying, making up a story, changing her stance. Um it's just good because I've, in, in my world, a lot of times you let people create the narrative, take shots, and you, and you don't fire back. And I'm an open book, and I'm pretty honest about who I am and where we've been. Sometimes people get away with stuff they shouldn't be allowed to. So, yeah, that was something. And, again, I can't thank the pizzerias enough because they all were like, we know Dave. We've met Dave. He's helped our business. And this is good for our business, small business. They all stood by us. So it was a great event. We didn't lose any of the pizzerias and they all pretty much want to be back. So Dave, speaking of where you've come from, can you just kind of tell me how that all started? Because around the time I got into Barstool, this coworker of mine was always saying one bite. Everybody knows the rules, one bite. And I'd be like, what is all that? What's this all about? So like, how did that review actually start? Yeah, so myself, Big Cat, co-worker, we got in a debate. If you could eat one food the rest of your life, what would you eat? He said burritos. I said pizza. He's like, well, you can do breakfast burritos. And we did it for about a month straight. That's all we ate. So me, pizza, him, burritos. And I was eating it so much, people just started, hey, is it any good? He's like, I'll take one bite and then give you a quick reaction. So it was very organic. People love pizza. They love talking about pizza. That's why we have this pizza fest. That's why we sold out. Um, that's why we have two sessions for it this year. People love talking, eating pizza, but that's where it came from. And so what about that new uh, option this year with the VIP event at the One Bite Pizza Festival? Well, and tickets go on sale on Friday. There's only 10,000 available. So what's what's the VIP aspect of this? Yeah, so we have two sessions. Last year, we only had one. This year, we have an afternoon and an evening session. You can get a VIP ticket if you want, which gets you in before the GA, everybody else. If you really want to get to the pizzerias quickly before there's a line, I will say I wasn't overwhelmed by the lines last year. I thought the event ran as smoothly as possible, despite basically a hurricane. Um, but that's what the VIP does. It gets you early access. And we know that there's some of the best pizzerias in the world going to be there. Prince Street Pizza, John's of Bleecker Street, uh, DeFerra, Frank Pepe. Well, I mean, you, you're trying to help uh, grow the great, you know, pizzeria and restaurant sector. Yeah. And in like another food place, Ferraro Foods has like an Italian little village and built as a new one. And, and our sponsors, these events can't happen without them. So uh, we appreciate their support. And they add to the festival too. They It's not just like a, an ad. They'll have little villages where you can eat stuff and become interactive. So again, you, you can't do events like this without sponsor support. So we do appreciate it. And then it's going to be on Randall's Island this year, right? Randall's That's Island, bigger location. Uh, last location was great. The weather was just bad, but this will allow more people to come and maybe an easier commute from the city. Dave, I just got to say really quickly that it's amazing to be chatting with you here. Some of my coworkers here at the station are huge, huge Barstool fans. In fact, one in particular was especially devastated, and I knew that he would be when I went up to him this morning and I said, oh, uh, I'm doing an interview this afternoon. Yeah, with your boy, your boy, Dave. And he was like, what? You, you don't even want, read Barstool. You don't name some personalities. You don't even know. This is, <laughs> this is crap. This is ridiculous. And he was devastated. So thank you for helping me enjoy that personally. Give him the upper hand. No, you're, you're welcome. I appreciate the time. This is the One Bite Pizza Festival. You can check it out by getting your tickets Friday, June 28th. That's when they go on sale. There's only 10,000 available. So you want to make sure you be a part of it and uh, join up with the VIP option as well. You can check out. Dave and, and get those one pipe, one bite pizza reviews in person. Awesome. Thank you.